we are asked to simplify the given expression. Following the order of operations, to simplify the expression, we first simplify inside the parentheses, and then within the parentheses, we simplify the numerator and denominator separately before performing the division indicated by the fraction bar. Looking at the numerator, nothing simplifies because the bases are not the same, but in the denominator, we do have x raised to the power of negative 3 fourths times x raised to the power of 1 fourth. When multiplying in the bases of the same, we add the exponents indicated by the product property of exponents shown here. So for the first step, everything inside the parentheses is still raised to the power of negative 4, and the numerator is still x raised to the power of negative 3 halves, y raised to the power of 2 fifths, but the denominator is going to be x raised to the power of negative 3 fourths plus 1 fourth, and then we still have y raised to the power of negative 6 fifths. Let's determine this sum. We have negative 3 fourths plus 1 fourth, which equals negative 2 fourths, which simplifies to negative 1 half. So now we know this simplifies to x raised to the power of negative 1 half. Now that we've simplified the numerator and the denominator, we can perform the division indicated by the fraction bar. When dividing and the bases are the same, we subtract the exponents shown here by the quotient property of exponents. And it's always the exponent of the numerator minus the exponent of the denominator. So we'll simplify and set the parentheses in two parts. We'll divide the terms with base x, then the terms with base y. x to the power of negative 3 halves divided by x raised to the power of negative 1 half is equal to x raised to the power of negative 3 halves minus negative 1 half. And then we have y to the 2 fifths divided by y to the negative 6 fifths, which is equal to y raised to the power of 2 fifths minus negative 6 fifths. And now to determine these two differences. For the exponent on x, negative 3 halves minus negative 1 half is equivalent to negative 3 halves plus positive 1 half, which is equal to negative 2 halves, which equals negative 1. And then for the exponent on y, we have 2 fifths minus negative 6 fifths, which is equivalent to 2 fifths plus positive 6 fifths, which is equal to positive 8 fifths. So inside the parentheses, we now have x raised to the power of negative 1, y raised to the power of positive 8 fifths, and all this is raised to the power of negative 4. For the next step, because everything inside the parentheses is being raised to the power of negative 4, we multiply the exponents inside the parentheses by negative 4, which is given by the power to power property shown here. So this simplifies to x raised to the power of negative 1 times negative 4, y raised to the power of 8 fifths times negative 4. Well, negative 1 times negative 4 is equal to positive 4, giving us x raised to the power of positive 4. Let's show some work on this product. We have 8 fifths times negative 4. Let's write negative 4 as negative 4 over 1. Notice nothing simplifies, and therefore we multiply. 8 times negative 4 is equal to negative 32. 5 times 1 is 5. So we have y raised to the power of negative 32 fifths. But we're not quite done yet because we need to express this only using positive exponents. Looking at the exponent properties on the left, we have a raised to the power of negative m equals 1 over a raised to the power of positive m, which means y raised to the power of negative 32 fifths is equal to 1 over y raised to the power of positive 32 fifths. One way to remember this property is to write a to the negative m as a fraction with the denominator of 1, and then if we move a to the power of negative m across the fraction bar or down to the denominator, it changes the sign of the exponent. So for this expression, we could think of writing this as a fraction with a denominator of 1, and then if we move y to the power of negative 32 fifths to the denominator, the exponent changes from negative to positive. And therefore, the simplified expression is x to the fourth divided by y raised to the power of positive 32 fifths. This is the simplified form of the given expression. I hope you found this helpful.